As you begin to prepare your nursery for your baby's arrival, there are a lot of decisions to be made. Believe it or not, your rocking chair can easily end up costing more than your crib. This is a big purchase and there's a lot of features that might help to make that middle of the night feeding a bit more comfortable. So that's what we're talking about today. It's crazy, but it's true. The purchase of a rocking chair is a significant one. This is likely something that you'll have for years, and there are features about that rocking chair that can help to make the middle of the night feedings go more smoothly. I'm Valerie Trumbauer, and I help people prepare for life with a newborn. I think it's important to take this time to talk about rocking chairs because for one, I had one that I hated. I was so excited about this rocking chair that I had bought. It's from like a fancy baby store. And it wasn't until after my twins arrived that I realized what the real problem was with it. So the number one thing, if I could recommend one thing to people about buying their rocking chair or recliner for the corner of their baby's room, is that you want to be sure for those middle of the night feedings that when you put your head back, there is a place for you to lay, to, to lay your head. You wouldn't believe how many rocking chairs stop right about here. So with those feedings, as you sit here, it doesn't seem too crazy to have to be responsible for holding your own head up, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> at 2 a.m. when you've been up twice already in the night or whatever the case is, it, it's exhausting to be a new parent. You want to be able to rest your head back. Some other features that you might be happy to have in that recliner is the ability to both rock and to swivel. Okay, so both of these allow for movement. And I know it seems like, do these things really matter? They definitely do, because you want to be able to very easily um, glide, I should say glide, not rock. So there, there are rockers with, you know, the parts that are lying on the floor. What I'm sitting in is a glider. So it takes a lot less effort to help to get your baby to sleep or whatever makes um, your baby more comfortable happens with, with less movement when you're in a glider. The ability to swivel um, can be convenient and it also helps um, later, and we'll talk about where your glider might go when you're done uh, with it in the nursery. I chose this glider right here to talk about because it has so many features that I think people will really like. So we already talked about the ability to put, the ba to put your head back this is really comfy. It's a piece of furniture. You're not putting your um, arms down on something, you know, some hard wood. This feels comfy. The other thing about this um, glider is that it reclines. And in this case, the mechanism that helps it to recline does not, it's very often it'll be off to the side. So if I was holding a baby or two babies, I would now have to be juggling to get off to the side. That's not the case. Here you're reaching right down into the seat of the glider, pulling that and, um, and it easily reclines back. So this, as soon as I saw it, um, I'm visiting a friend and as soon as I saw it, I was like, wait a second. You know, everybody needs to see this because it's such a good representation of what is nice to have um, in your nursery. And as I spoke to um, my friend about this glider, she said that it was a significant purchase. In this case, it cost more than the crib. But because it looks like a nice piece of furniture and because it is a recliner and um, you know it's a comfortable chair, their intention is that after they no longer need it in the nursery, they'll move it down to the playroom or to the basement to be a recliner down there. So as you make this purchase and as you start to weigh the pros and cons of different um, gliders or rockers that you see, I think it is helpful to understand that this is a piece of furniture. This could be a piece of furniture that you would have for many years to come. So if you would choose something um, that you might also then like in your playroom or in your basement or wherever, um, you might be willing to spend more money at that time, realizing that it's more of a long-term purchase.
So of course it is not necessary to have a recliner or, or to have a reclining feature, to have a rocker or glider that costs more than your crib. For sure you could have the wooden rockers that our grandmothers had, uh, you know, back in the day or whatever, you know, my mom had one, but it's certainly not necessary, but I think it's a nice thing to talk about because your baby's going to wake up you know, several times in the middle of the night. And I talk about that inside of um, Expecting 101 and Expecting 101, you're adopting the courses that I have online where why is your baby waking? You know, your baby's waking because his job is to grow and in order to grow, you need to eat very often. So during all of those feedings, this is where you're gonna be spending your time. And I think it's an important um, purchase and that it's worth um, spending a little bit of time thinking about. Before you make this purchase, I definitely recommend going and sitting in the actual chair. I don't think buying one on the internet is necessarily a great idea, but depending on the return policy and how comfortable you are with that, um, it's totally up to you. So I hope that you found this helpful. You're getting ready for life with a newborn. You're gonna to wanna to be sure and check out this video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should head on over there. I'm at New Parents Academy and there's a lot going on over there. Be sure and hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I post videos every week. I'll see you in the next video.